friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hard brown cataract with the pupil having more than 200 degrees of posterior synechia and a thick strong fibrous membrane there are two gaps one at 3 o'clock another at 1:30 o'clock let us observe some salient steps of this surgery this is a severely edited video recording the surgery took 24 minutes it has been edited to 12 minutes by this time the main incision and the paracentesis have been made and now tripan blue dye is injected in the posterior chamber because if we inject it in the posterior chamber it will spread all around and all the capsule will be stained and now the dye is washed out a lot of dye is there in the posterior chamber it is coming out gradually and it will come out later on during other steps of surgery and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and now i have taken a scissor and i am cutting the attachment of the fibrous membrane at 2 o'clock and now see if i pull this membrane and try to tear it off see what happens I've taken this B hex forceps, and if I pull it, it is so strong that if I pull it strongly, arido dialysis can occur. So we should not pull it. We have to cut this membrane along the pupillary margin. So I inject some visco behind the iris and some in front of the iris. take the micro seizure again go through the side port at 1:30 o'clock and cut the fibrous membrane close to the pupillary margin so the membrane is being cut on the inferior aspect now i come to the superior aspect and cut the membrane superiorly care is taken not to injure the anterior capsule of the cataract and now some more visco is injected and then i take the scissor again and cut the right side of this fibrous membrane yes now the fibrous membrane is cut from its attachment some tags are still there let us see if we can remove some of it this is the fibrous membrane the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated and now uh, let me see if i pull it what happens yes a portion of this tag came out but there are some bleeding points and we can leave these tags it will not cause any problem in visual recovery of the patient and now little bit of stretching of the people is to be done because the people is still very small about 2 and 1/2 mm let us see if we can stretch this people and make it little bigger 
this is a Y instrument in my right hand and a Sinsky hook in my right and the people has dilated to about 3.5 or 4 millimeter. Now I have applied a B-hex people expander. The leading flange has been tucked and the flange on the left side is being tucked with the help of a Sinsky hook. Yes, we can use a Sinsky hook. Actually these holes are made for that purpose. But it is easier to use the BHEX forceps. In this case I am using the Sinsky hook to help the BHEX forceps. And now the BHEX is so flexible that it could be placed, it could be tucked under the iris with this very small people. And now the people is nicely dilated. It is about 5.5 millimeter and we can see that the post anterior capsule of the cataract is also nicely stained uniformly because the stain the tripan blue was injected behind the iris. Now capsular excess is being done. The anterior capsule has been incised with a 26 gauge band needle. Now with the help of the uterator forceps capsular excess is being done. The rexis the capsule is guided along the border of the pupillary margin dilated pupil and we get an adequate sized rexis. And now hydro dissection is to be done. This is 27 gauge cannula attached to a 2 cc syringe with BSS. Gentle streams of BSS is injected at multiple points. The nucleus is tried to mobilize. The nucleus is tapped. Again, some hydro is done, but this nucleus is huge and the capsule cortical adhesion is much stronger than in other cases. So I could not rotate the nucleus satisfactorily. But enough of hydrodissection has been done and now inside out hydro will occur as I make the first crack. This is submarine chaff. The tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. It goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and then it is chopped and this is separation on the back portion and now the video has been edited a lot so nucleus management also has been edited to some extent this is the last two fragments of the nucleus FICO power used in this case is 80% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury the machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3 from Switzerland yes the nucleus has been managed this is a portion of the epinucleus and a small bit of nucleus is there it goes to the teeth and it is emulsified and then the FACO tip is removed from the anterior chamber. Now cortical cleanup is been done and the anterior chamber and capsular bag is filled up with visco and then this is a 
hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens it is being implanted in the capsular bag now the lens is dialed in such a way that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision because I want to go behind the eye well so if the haptics are away from the main incision it is easier to go behind the eye well and clean the visco from the capsular bag now the visco now the uh, B hex is being removed it is untucked and a portion of the ring just in front of the main incision is held with the BHEX and it is gently pulled out and now the methyl cellulose that has been used for implantation of intraocular lens is being cleaned out and the chamber is irrigated and now the posterior chamber is irrigated behind the iris the space behind the iris is irrigated and now I go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsular bag as I irrigate this the viscoelastic substance comes out through the main incision and at this time I'm using irrigation and aspiration together I lift the anterior leaf of the main incision with the irrigating probe and use the aspirating probe through the side port this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side ports are hydrated and antechamber is formed and the case is concluded we started our journey from here and we have reached to this point so it has been a very satisfactory journey I have taken some post-op pictures after 20 hours cornea is clear antechamber is quiet IOP by non-contact tonometer is 12 millimeter of mercury wounds are nicely opposed so it has been a very satisfactory post-operative result thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence